Howdy, my name is Jacob Wilson and this is my psychology film assignment. I decided to do my project over Hannibal Lecter from the book and movie Silence of the Lambs. Hannibal Lecter is the main antagonist in the movie Silence of the Lambs. I put quotations over antagonist because he doesn't directly negatively affect the protagonist, which is Clarice Starling, but he's still the main bad guy in the story. Hannibal is a licensed psychiatrist, but after a tragedy that involved the murder of his sister, not by him, but by another, um, he turns into a cannibalistic serial killer. Throughout his timeline, after he is caught, Hannibal helps the FBI track down and hunt other serial killers using his knowledge of killing and his psychiatrist background. Antisocial personality disorder. He, ref he prefers to be alone and has a huge lack of remorse or guilt, which is the personality disorder section of DSM-5. I also uh, wanted to include Wendigo disorder and Machiavellian intelligence because this is a big deal in the movie as a whole, considering Wendigo disorder is cannibalism, uh, which is a strong desire for the taste of human flesh, and Machiavellian intelligence, which is basically being too smart for your own good. and uh, basically is not good if you have uh, evil intentions like maneuvering your way up a social or political pool to achieve success in something that is not quote unquote morally acceptable uh, this story takes place in Baltimore in the early 1990s so given Lecter's actions he definitely would not stand out in the culture as uh, normal a therapist at this time would not only be tackling a huge task, but be fearful, as in this time they have not seen or dealt with many uh, antisocial personality disorder cannibalistic serial killers. As this probably arises in certain cultures, it is most definitely not diagnosed in all of them. And a main stigma in our culture against this is that it is illegal to both kill people and it is both <laughs> illegal to consume them like food. A symptom of Hannibal's is his increased intelligence, which sometimes isn't a bad thing, but for a serial killer it can be very difficult to manage. He uses this to his advantage by, take, by manipulating everyone around him to seem as a likable guy to win trust and, like in the Machiavellian intelligence, climb the social pole. Another symptom of his ASPD is his slow develop from politeness to increased aggression, which eventually leads to his gory escape from prison. We can also see this in his continuous talks with the protagonist, Clarice Starling, as he goes from very easygoing to fits of rage and aggression happening very frequently. A symptom missing from his ASPD is impulsiveness and the failure to plan ahead. It is evident that Lecter is very methodical and very well thought out with every aspect of what he does and how he does it. This can be seen in his Prison escape, he escaped from a maximum security uh, solitary confinement cell in his prison and escaped successfully. Treatment. Although ASPD is very difficult to treat, especially if the patient is unwilling, the best course of action would be to have numerous psychotherapy appointments while the patient is subdued under relaxation medication so they are not worked up and can focus much better. This plan is cost effective. The simplest way to deal with ASPD and can be done from the confines of the prison where he is being held. Ethical concerns are subduing, uh, that is at the top of the list because it is unconsensual medicating of a patient. Barriers for this treatment include the fact that he is in solitary confinement and seeing visitors typically not regularly permitted as psychotherapy would have to be. Another barrier is most people would say it wouldn't be worth your time to heal Hannibal anyway, given the fact that he received a life sentence and will not have any chance of being a better self in society, and he will not be released from his solitary confinement. This book and movie combination did a fantastic job in recreating antisocial personality disorder in the form of Hannibal Lecter. He not only portrays the mental disorder, he takes it into his own league with being so maniacal and evil that it makes him stand out in the realm of this not specifically rare medical health issue. This disorder should be a beacon to ASPD treatments, especially ones dealing with 
people in prison, as one day some may be let back into society and still possess the same traits that got them arrested in the first place. And there are my sources. Thank you.